Might as well get it started. It's going to be a long night. I'm going to ask all y'all to share this. <laughs> it's going to be a long night. So we might as well get this started. Let me adjust my sound. One moment. It's going to be a long night. Let me share what I need to share real quick. This is how I'm starting the show tonight. Yeah, Crip said we got to bring the intro, but this is how we 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 gonna bring the intro. This is pretty bad. You know what I mean? We, this can y'all hear me? Check 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 one two check check one two. Press seven if you can hear me. This is pretty bad. This is pretty bad, but. One second. Let me just share. Peace and love, family. Oh, will you be able to share this for me? Let me just put this cash app in just in case anybody want to support. Buddha more in the building. We about to go divine high. You're we about to go divine high. Abazu, we about to go divine high. It's pretty bad, bro. How y'all doing today? Y'all need to share this to all of the revolutionaries. This is going to be a little, it's going to be a little long night. It's going to be about two hours. But we're going to get it popping. You know what I mean? Straight. You know what I mean? We, we, man, this is... Man. Let me tell you something. If anybody follow this guy, I'm going to say it again. If anybody follow this guy, you deserve whatever you get. I'm telling you, this is, this is, listen, listen, I ain't even going to turn up. You know I mean, because some of the stuff that I witnessed that this brother said last night just blew me away. What's up, Johnny? Will I? Right. This blew me away that people would still consider this guy as a reasonable leader for liberation. Blew me straight away. Anybody that defends this guy need to get their head checked. They need a head doctor. They really do. They need a head doctor. We're going to start the show and we just going to get right into it. Those who ain't with it, they're going to have to catch up. Ain't no long drawn out intro today. We're going to get straight to it. Let's get it. Let's get straight to it. I'm going to be that more you going to remember. I'll be that more you going to remember. To Harker Bay front line till the law call my number. I'll be that more you going to remember. I'm going to be that more you going to remember. That's right. I'll be that more you going to remember. To Harker Bay front line till the law call my if number. If you a friend of the more then you a friend of mine. I was told to watch my enemies, now hold my line. Those who speak against the prophet, they speak against me. And I'm speaking about the prophet over Drew Ali. Who was the first to remind you and bind you back? To Morocco, the mountains, Mississippi, and Quebec. Told you you wasn't black. Prove it a straight fact. You tripping off drugs, you need to be tripping off that. Now here we go again, acting like you a slave. This <laughs> Family, see y'all tonight, 930. Let's go. I'll be that more you gon' remember I'ma be that more you gon' remember I'll be that more you gon' remember To Harker Bay front line Till the law call my number So welcome to another edition of Morse World TV And we're gonna get straight into it Alright We're gonna get straight into it So first let me give you the backdrop the backdrop is just last night, 
Malik Zulu Shabazz was given the opportunity to explain himself. What's up? What's up, DJ Aaron? Man, I was down here in the lab, man. I was trying to get some things straight. You know what I mean? And uh, time got away from me, but I got you. I, I really need to talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, we need to build. Um, but with that being said, so my apology for that, but thank you. Peace, peace to the family. Get them to you. And, and I really want y'all to pay close attention because this is, this is really a class. This is really, 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 really a class. All right. Let me close out some of these. I'm going to close out some of these uh, windows so it don't interfere with the class. You know what I'm saying? But family, listen, really, are we that desperate for leadership, fraudship, or just ignorant people acting like they represent us? Are we, are we that crazy? The temple family in the house. <laughs> yes, sir. You know what I mean? Are we really that crazy? Family, I really want you to pay attention. If you are of what he's trying to call the black power group, family, first and foremost, don't you allow this agent to insinuate that this is a Moorish against black power. That's what they always do. Soon as you disagree with an individual, they try to make like it's against some movement. No, agent, I disagree with you. Let's be clear. Let me, let me, let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me show you what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about. It's something very simple. When you have people who jump out the window like this. I've allowed a man in their ranks to uh, be their primary representative on no, social media. Stop right there. There is not a Moorish American in the Moorish science diaspora that hold me as their representative. Let's be clear. See, this is what the agents do. The agents try to water, muddy the waters and try to make it like it's between Moors and black power. No, 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 no. You don't get to do that here, Mr. Agent. You don't get to do that here. Because let me tell you something. Tomorrow night, I got some real black power brothers coming on here and talking about the state of the black power movement. You don't get to do that. You are not the voice of the black power movement. You hear what I say? Listen to him. He's not, also, the, he's not the representative, though, brother. He's not. Okay, but hear me out, though. Hear me out, though, because appearance is everything. Appearance is every. I'm going to dress. I know what you. This is how them agents muddy the waters, where we'll be fighting against each other. I have a disagreement with an individual. When it was Grandmaster J, I had a disagreement with an individual. Not the whole, what they call the Black Power construct. Can I get a seven in the air if you understand what I'm saying? See, let me tell you something, Malik, because I know you watch it. I know you're watching. One thing for sure and two things for certain, the European always tried to put emphasis on groups against groups. See, I'm not going to let you do that. I'm not going to let you manipulate in your 30 years of experience of manipulating to imply that this is a Moorish against a black power thing. We're not going to let you do that. We're not going to let you do that, buddy. See, look, from the first time that you disagreed with the, my approach to Grandmaster J, I thought you was funny. I thought something was wrong because at that time I had put over six to seven months worth of 
intel videos and everything i could come up with to show that grandmaster j was moving funny and yet you called me an agent and yet i gave you a sort of a pass but let me tell you something the moment that you made up that lie, like we're going to have a fight in Baltimore as if you talk to me, and that was provocateur. Very provocative, very agent-like, very informant-like. I never talked to you. I never agreed with nothing with you. And I told you that if somebody wanted some smoke, hit my phone. But you went on to create a flyer. You created a flyer and gave the illusion as if I had agreed to some madness, some childish ring in the middle of the street brawl. Eh, 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 eh. Now, if you would have been quiet with it, it would have been different, but you did it just like an agent and an informant. I mean, you did it like an agent and an informant. But if you would have been quiet, because you know my number, if you would have been quiet, it would have been different. But you did it like an agent and informant. You went beyond, you went, you went above and beyond and created a flyer as if it was a serious event. Prior to that, you put a post out and say, I heard Tahaka Bay House was XYZ. As if you was trying to get somebody to provoke something against something that I own. Or something that I rent or something that I live in. Very informant agent like. Trying to provoke people to do stuff that you wouldn't do. Then you went on to say before that. That you heard that my jaw had got broken. Trying to put the seed. Of intent in the air. To cause nonsense. See, that's where you messed up. The moment you started talking about doing something or uh, uh, implying something about my home, the moment you started talking about you heard my jaw was busted, you got to understand, you have a daughter. I have a baby son. I have a wife. I have children. When you begin to imply things about my home with children there, now, there is no end until it's done. And I'm going to whip you on social media because that's where you agents recruit. I'm going to whip you on social media because that's where you agents recruit. Of course, I know everything about you. I could say, I could say, I could say some staggering things about you that has been uncovered. But I'm going to whip you on social media because that's where you've been recruiting. You used to recruit on Fox News. You used to recruit on, uh, on CNN. You used to recruit on MSNBC. You used to recruit on C-SPAN. Today, you recruit with social media. And you causing all of this madness and you don't lift a finger to do a thing. So once again, before I get started, to my brothers and sisters in the black power community, to my brothers and sisters in the gun community, the formation community, this has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with you. It has something to do with a provocateur. It has something to do with an agent. It has something to do with one who's coming to bring mischief and chaos at the expense of what he has called black power, where he has not, in 30 years, obtained a lick of power. So here you go. Getting that, and I'm going to get to it. I have no problem with them brothers. My more, I have no problem just hear what I'm saying, brother. I've, I'm, I'm, I've, I've weighed carefully where I'm at with this question. The Moors have allowed Taharka Bay to become their spokesman, and they're gonna have to, and they're gonna take 
his words on their credit card until they stop it. Now that's my position. Well, one thing more. I'm going to be clear. Let me repeat it. Let me repeat it. You see, he's trying to create a narrative. He's trying to create a narrative that this is a more and a black power structure thing. When in reality, when in reality, when in reality, this is a suspected leader of 30 years who have mischaracterized myself and has went on from research we see has misled people. I don't speak for no individual Moorish group, not even my own. Not even the group that I'm a part of. I'm speaking for Tahaka Bay. Toronto Johnson. Toronto Johnson Bay. Tito. Doe. Whatever you choose to call me, I'm speaking for this individual that you see today. This is not about anybody else. You know what I mean? So with that being said, I want everybody to know we about to go in this evening you understand what i'm saying we about to go in this evening and i want you to hear it from his mouth first of all let's start here study with you i, I love general aj frazier he says he loved general aj frazier we're going to get to the lies a minute now we already know and we already talked about it that A.J. Frazier is super suspect. You follow what I'm saying? He's super suspect. And the reason why he's super suspect is because he's coming with these antics, jumping out of planes, swimming with guns, and still nobody know where he's from either. Nobody know where he's from either. He pop up. And nobody knows where he's from. Nobody said nothing yet. Anybody say anything yet? We put that out three weeks ago. Let me see if I can pull this up real quick. Let me see if I can pull that up. We, we, we put that out three weeks ago. And no one has said a thing. You follow what I'm saying? No one has said a thing. No one has, 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 has confirmed or denied who this guy is. No one. Now, now, normally when I say something about AJ, normally he go and make a post. Now, in this here, we see AJ and Akbar. Now, in this interview last night, in the interview last night, he talks real greasy about Akbar. Yet, he talks real favorable of AJ. Yet, I don't have time today. I can show you where AJ is talking greasy about Malik. In fact, call him Malik an agent. Let me tell you something how this European do. And we figured it out. Over time, we done figured it out. What happens is these Europeans that have these people working, they don't know that they all working for the same, same, same cause, but for different people. And this is how you know it. Because Malik was defending Grandmaster J and Grandmaster J was calling Malik an agent. Did y'all hear what I just said? Malik was defending Grandmaster J, but Grandmaster J was calling Malik an agent. In fact, he said everybody's in the Black Panther Party as an agent. So, so it's obvious that these people working for the same cause, but they're not working with the same people. Because when you look in a minute, in a minute, in a minute, man, man, hold up. Let's, 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 let's get busy. Let's get busy. Let's get busy. Let's get busy. Let me see real quick. Uh, 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 um, let me get, uh, um, here we go. Yep. Hey, Gips. Mm -hmm. Okay, I still, well. I still, I still went. 
because I wanted to be. Now, look, right there, General Ghazi. General Ghazi last night told Malik Zulu Shabazz, told Malik Zulu Shabazz that GMJ told them not to go to Tulsa because the whole, you hear what I say? Because the whole, I'm going to say it one more time, because the whole Black Panther Party is agents starting with Malik, basically. You hear what I said? Now, look at the look on Malik's face. This goofball don't even know that the same one that he's protecting is calling him an agent. And this is a competent leader. This guy is supposed to lead somebody to some sort of victory. Okay. He didn't, he didn't want in fact to have anything. Okay, so I want to say this then. Let me all. just briefly. He Sorry. don't even know what's going on. Very briefly, but let me say this. That's though. number I'm, one. Well, and okay. Fuck all those people who was an NFAC who didn't do shit for two years. Fuck every last one of them. Because there was people getting shot. There was still murders happening every single fucking day. And people's out here playing games. Still to this day. People's playing games. Yes or no? You're right. Quiet. Quiet. Malik, I don't want to bash you. You ain't did nothing wrong to me since I, since I met you. Huh? You always praise me. You always... Now, now I like General Ghazi going hard, but, but Ghazi, stop backpedaling. If you're going to be a general and stand on your square, stop backpedaling. Tell the truth and let the truth stay. stay with it. Stop trying to smooth over the truth, General Ghazi. You said the truth, but then you backpedal. Well, you know you never said nothing to me. You know, man, cut it out. You're going to be a general or you're going to be a softie. You can't have it both ways, Ghazi. Now, I like you. I think you're a good guy. But you can't have it both ways. You can't have it both ways. You can't call him on his foolishness and then say, but you know, that's double talking. That's called fork tongue talking. That's called fork tongue talking. You can't talk two ways. If you're calling him out on his foolishness, call him out on his foolishness. But don't come back and say, well, you know I don't have nothing against you. Because you never did nothing to me. But the people say this. No, 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 no. A solid individual, general, family man, businessman, his yes be his yes, or her yes be her yes, and her nose be her nose. That's it. Don't double talk. That's that fork tongue. Watch the fork tongue. Watch the fork tongue. This, this tongue saying this, and this tongue saying this. Get it right, General Ghazi. They did the right things. But everybody, half, 75%, other people tap my shoulder and say, hey, don't mess with that guy. General Ghazi, if 75% of the people that you encounter tell you don't mess with Malik Zulu Shabazz, ain't nothing good he can say about you because that's stroking your ego. That's stroking your pride. That's stroking your confidence so he can build trust with you, so he can deceive you. Brother, how old are you, General Ghazi? You ain't never seen this game before, my brother. You ain't never seen this before. Stroke the ego of one over here. Huh? Stroke the ego, make you feel good. So he can hold on for you, to you, as long as he can. While the people over here, ready to rip them to shreds. No, General Ghazi. 75%. Is an astronomical number when it comes to your circle who disapprove of this guy and consider him to be an agent. But I I I I gotta honor General Ghazi 
because he stood up and said, this has nothing to do with Morris World TV. This is people, and then Malik was so stuck on Morris World TV. Hold up, I don't want to belabor the point. Don't mess with him because he's working for him. Because he set me up. He did this. He did that. So I thought this was this. I thought this, what this show was all about is answering these questions, so but he can know. get some clarity, and so he can bring the truth out to if this shit was true or not. Right, but you know, you know what the problem is. Everybody, if we keep on. Now, stop right there. At the end of the day, 75% is a major number. A major number. This goofball Malik Zulusha Bass even had the nerve to say, let me see, I got a bunch of clips. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna talk y'all. I ain't gonna talk y'all to death. I got a bunch of clips. You know what I mean? Let me see what this one say. My father, Khalid Muhammad. Now, I don't want to do that one yet. I don't want to do that one yet. Hold up. Cause this is cool. We about to get busy. We ain't gonna do that yet. Okay, here we go. Let's start with this jealousy. This black power, so-called black nationalist, black Panther community, you should be embarrassed of yourself. Running behind people that, that hate the whole black power movement to get two minutes of fame on some Ricky Dink YouTube show. Let me stop it for a second. First of all, you are not the black power movement, Malik. I don't know who nominated you, who said you were, and how did your arrogant, foolish, ignorant behind even thought you was the head of some black power movement? You're not. You're not. You got a little bit of ragtag people running behind you thinking that you're going to relive that stardom of Fox News from the late, late 90s. That's what you got. That's what you got. Nobody said that you were the head of any black power movement. You are just as much as the head of the black power movement as Sinetta. And we know that ain't going. Why, why do you think you's an arrogant fool to believe that you are the head of a black power movement? You insane. You're a goofball. And we're going to show it. We're going to show it. Listen to this fool. And we should, and y'all, I can say we, I'm not a part of it. Y'all should be embarrassed who I'm talking to. Running behind uh, 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 somebody that is operating off nothing but jealousy and envy and makes a fool out of this community always. It's always us. Malik, you are not a community, number one. You are not a community, number one. You got your little ragtag people following behind you. Strung out on Newports and Coke 45. And white out blunts and probably black and miles. Stop playing. You are not a community. You don't spirit no community. You don't spearhead no community. What community? The five or six people you got knocking on wrong doors? The five or six people you got to show up in Buffalo at any given day when, when, when they shoot our people? The five or six people you got standing in front of a courthouse? That's your community? That's your squad? That's your squad? For real? You are, you something wrong with you. Listen to this fool. Because we ain't got no, because not we, y'all, I would say, because I do got a platform. I'm going to talk about that in a second. This fool said, let me tell you what this fool said, because I'm not going to go through that. Let me tell you what this fool said. He said, for all the years that I've been doing this, and I've only been doing this for a few years, about four years. He said he got two million views and blah, blah, blah. This fool is counting views of YouTube. And he said, I got millions and millions of views. The goofball don't understand that some of the main views that he get is from spectators. Nobody supports you. That's why you crying. That's why you crying saying, ain't nobody give me no money. I give everybody money. We're going to get into that in a minute.
We're going to get into that in a minute. He said nobody supports him. He said that. Anybody watch the interview? Plus seven if you watch the interview. He said, he said, very few support him. So, <laughs> so you get millions of views. You get millions of views, but got little support. Do you know what that means? That you're a circus sideshow. You're a spectator sport. That's what that means, goofball. That don't mean people support you because a million people. Let me let me tell you something. For the four thousand to the ten thousand or the twenty thousand views that Morris World TV get, that's love for real people and real supporters. I wouldn't want to have a million flunkies watching my stream, but when I call to action, they don't move. Why would I want a million flunkies watching my stream, but when I call to action, they don't move? Give me the three to 4,000, and I say, we need to get some school supplies, family. Send it here, and they move. What makes more sense? What makes more sense? This is, this, this is what I'm telling you, and they actually follow this guy. They actually follow this guy. This, here we go. Unbelievable to me. Now, here we go. Person said it was an embarrassment. Ain't no lot of people. Do you, we, we, okay. Do you, so what they talking about here is when he walked up with the eviction paper. He walked up to the people house with the fake eviction. Y'all remember that? And they said, people said it was an embarrassment. And this is what he said. Let's be quoting one person. No, no, no. Hold on. See, Malik, again, when I ask you these questions, just like I came to you three weeks ago, is because these conversations are being had amongst many but, people. But, 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 but I'm, and I say that for a reason, right? Okay, was it embarrassing? You, how do you see it that way? How okay. do you see okay. that incident? And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you why it was, it was a great victory, and it is a victory. Okay. And I'm, and, and those, I won't even say those. The person that said it's an embarrassment. It's no, just no, 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 no. Is is? I know you're concentrated on the one, but trust me, brother. If it come the one, if it's if it ain't from the one, it come from somebody following or sniffing behind the one. And I want to say this to our community. Do y'all? Y'all see this? Did y'all see this? This fool believes that knocking on the wrong door in the wrong city is not an embarrassment. This is what he believes. He believes that knocking on the wrong door at the wrong city in the wrong city is not an embarrassment. That I am the embarrassment. You feel what I'm saying? That's what he believes. That now, if that ain't simple, stupid, crazy, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. They in the wrong city at the wrong door. And he says, I'm the embarrassment. And that you consider it an embarrassment. You're also the embarrassment. And then, as, 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 as Sis Crosby said, he said it was a victory. It was a victory. How was it a victory? How was it a victory when, in fact, uh, Carolyn Bryant is basically at home watching you act a plum fool with her oxygen tank upside her head? I mean, how is that a victory? I mean, how is that a victory? When you and the new guy, Jacob, is at the wrong door 
and Carolyn Bryant is watching you with little Scruffy. You in the wrong city, at the wrong house. Then you went to the wrong old folks' home. She's sitting home, sniffing oxygen from an oxygen tank, her and Scruffy. And you and the goof guy, Thug Ministries, talking about that's a win. That's a victory. You can't make this stuff up. Who's following this guy? Somebody raise your hand if you're following this guy. We're going to get you some help. We're going to get you some help if you're following this guy. We're going to get you some we're going to get you some desperate needed help. That's right. Wrong city and wrong door. <laughs> They was in the wrong city and the wrong door. Like Johnny Durey says, she doesn't live in Mississippi. She lives in Kentucky. And you know the sad thing about it? That this guy claims that he's an accomplished attorney. Anybody know anything about an attorney? Attorney is one that he can research and put things together so they can win a case. No wonder he ain't got no wins under his belt. Yeah. Yeah. Cryptonomics say they was in the wrong city, the wrong door, trying to make a citizen's arrest. Ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? When at the end of the day, family, when at the end of the day, I've already said this. I've already said this. And now we're going we're gonna to share it again. I've already said this, and I haven't been wrong yet. See, this is the thing. If, if, if I'm the agent, Man, look, man, this is goofy for you even to consider that. Listen, I haven't been wrong yet. What did I say when I was doing the show? I said the only way that you would be able to make progress if you were to come with new evidence and present it to the grand jury or pre present it to Mississippi. But if you go and pick up Carolyn Bryant, what you going to do with her? You're going to give her oxygen? What you going to do with her? That'll be called kidnapping, goofball. So anything that you're saying in reference to picking up Carolyn Bryant on a citizen arrest, it be called kidnapping. And this is the real world that we live in. So anybody that cheerlead this goofy stuff, like, yeah, we're going to get that lady. I don't care if she's 150 years old. We going to get her. Okay, go get her. I'm waiting. Go get her. Go get her. See, this is why we need to wake up as a people and stop trying to let people pull out our emotional strings. Of course, Carolyn Bryan should pay the ultimate price. But this guy is not in any position to bring down that sort of judgment. Nor is he in the position to give her oxygen while he hold her captive in a basement waiting to see what happened. This is what I'm saying. This guy used the oldest tactic in the book. Pulling on the emotional heartstrings of people. He's not going to pick up no Carolyn Bryant. I told y'all what it was all about from day one. And I hope y'all finally catch on. It was all about this movie. That's what it's all about. That's why you got Jacob now posting by the actual advertisement. This is what it's always been about. It's always been about the Till movie. The promotion started in June for Malik, July for John. I call him Jacob. You understand what I'm saying? It's all about this movie to stir up interest. To stir up interest. And when I'm telling you, Hollywood does it all the time. You know they call it false flagging? 
Thank you, Michael Connor. Tell them to go. Tell them to go help the flood victims in Kentucky if they want to help. Absolutely, AJ, go get your blow up boats and help some flood victims. But the point that I'm making is, the point that I'm making is, is that they call it false flagging. They will false flag in order to sell Hollywood movies. They will false flag in order to create new laws and new legislation. They will false flag. This is a false flag. Why would this guy be posing by a movie advertisement? This is unbelievable. Anybody that give these people money to represent them, you going you deserve what you're getting. There, there you go. And Hollywood is CIA, Malik Probable Paymaster. Now, now, now listen, I'm going to show you in the future. I'm going to show you how the FBI corroborated on this movie. They collaborated. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They collaborated on this movie. Yeah. Yeah. FBI hand is in here. Uh-huh. That's right. It's in here. They collaborated on this movie and it's in this public information. I'm not making it up. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm going to bring you the receipts. You follow me? I'm gonna bring you the receipts. Man, we got we got we got we got things going on. Um, so let's start right here. Court. I mean, is you following me to court or something? So, so, so uh shout out to uh Desert Eagle, man. I think Desert Eagle did a fine job in interviewing him and 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 being a uh, uh, um a inter an independent uh interviewer. You know what I mean? I don't believe he was biased in his questions. You know what I mean? I don't believe he was biased in his questions. I believe he asked the raw question. And Malik simply fumbled and dropped the ball. But this is what happened with these arrogant people. Let me tell you something, family. If you didn't get a chance to see it, it was four hours. You hear what I say? It was four hours of fluff. Out of every question that Desert Eagle asked him, he may answer too. And look, look, let me let me pull this one back. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Desert Eagle even had to hold up one second. See if I can find it for, for a second. Desert Eagle even had to say, you know, this starting to sound <laughs> something like a preacher or something he said. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. No, that ain't it. He said something to the effect that, you know, this this kind of, here, here it is. All right. Don't give depositions. Just give answers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I know that's your trained daily style, so it's kind of like that's the way you, you move. It's almost like asking a preacher a question. They're going to give you a sermon for an answer. So, I, so and I, I don't say Well, and we got to, and you got to let me get my answers out here because- <laughs> Because there's depth and there's wisdom. So he never really answer answer a question. And this is trained behavior. The politicians know how to do this. Uh, people that know how to work in news media know how to do this. They never give a real answer. You know what I mean? They never give a real answer. And this is classic agent behavior. Classic agent behavior classic informant behavior they never give a definitive answer they can't say anything straight they always gotta leave room to wiggle you follow what i'm saying they can't say anything straight you feel me now with that being said oh i got one i gotta i gotta i gotta give to you right now uh let me see let me see let me see let me see let me see, let me see, let me see. i want to i want to share Look at this. Yes, there was some conflict between Minister Hashim and Zinga and Brother Akbar. Yes, they have reported to me even later. I didn't know it then. They were reported to me that basically that Akbar was hoping and praying and calling for Brother Hashim's death so that he could somehow be the next man after Hashim. And they was on the radio or 
or basically just hoping that Hashim died. So I could see how somebody could send you that text and be mad at me for embracing Akbar when Hashim passed. But I would tell you this, my dear brother, and maybe maybe having a soft heart is has first of all, how do you say that Hashim is your friend? Hashim says that Akbar is them people. But when Hashim passed, you go find Akbar and bring him back into the party. Come on, family. What in the world is that? How is it, again, Hashim says that Akbar is those people for all intents and purposes. You understand what I'm saying? But now Malik, after the death of uh, after the death of Hashim, he goes and find Akbar. Been one of my weaknesses. I'm sure it has, because I feel like having a good heart, a soft heart, being a good brother and a helpful brother. Here we go with the Christian thing. Listen, I got a soft heart. No, you are an attorney. You are calculated. Ain't no soft heart. You are in a, you are a trained attorney. You have been doing this for over 30 years. We're not going to let you put the soft heart on us, boy. You're going to get this work today. That I've been stabbed in the back so many times. Okay, so. Oh, we're going to catch him in a lot of times tonight. And Zinga passed. Yeah, I went and embraced all of those that even, some of those that even Hashim and Zinga was pissed with that that had denounced or he had they had fired akbar from the party i went and got akbar back why would you go and get a suspected agent back why does that make any sense to anybody see this is what happened with these arrogant informants they talk too much they talk too much it's just like the old folk used to say. Nobody know how crazy or how stupid, how ignorant you are until you open your mouth. Until you open your mouth. If you keep your mouth shut, nobody would know that you're an agent. But you talk too much. You talk way too much. And this is how we figure you out. Oh, yeah, we gonna, he did the same thing with Najee. Yeah, we're going to get on that, too. We're going to get on that, too. But now, hold on. Let me get this. Hold up. Watch this. Watch this. I'm moving too fast, so I'm going to slow it down. I want y'all to get, get a full whiff of this madness. Because... Um, uh, uh, Malik Shabazz, Malik, Malik, Malik Shabazz, let me tell you this. Listen Malik to this. Malik Zulu Shabazz is hard on the white man. Malik Zulu Shabazz does not have any white friends. Malik Zulu Shabazz don't have no white associates. Malik Zulu Shabazz don't deal with white folks. Matter of fact, I'm known as being hard on the white folks. And matter of fact, even in this black power movement, one of the main complaints was he's too hard on the white man and we don't want to be called racist and don't talk so hard about the white people. You think I'm going to have that kind of reputation and this kind of belief system? And I'm finna go to Tulsa, Oklahoma with right. all of these strong. Now, listen, on the forefront, he don't have no white associates, quote unquote. But behind the scenes. It's a different story. Behind the scenes, it's a different story. Now, I didn't mean to do this to you, Dr. Khalid Muhammad, but, but y'all did use this media. Behind the scenes, it's a different story. If you look close to the picture, you would notice that Malik got his hand around The European.
Now, listen, you didn't know I had that one, did you? So I got plenty more, too. So I got plenty more. Stop playing with me. I'm the greatest researcher that came to YouTube in a long time. And my team is greater than I. Stop playing with me. See, these news medias have been being used. These news medias have been used to perpetuate the ideal. They have been, they've been used to perpetuate the ideal that there's a rift between black power, Europeans, and the government. But in fact, this is a big network to confuse our people, mislead, misguide, misdirect our people from liberation. I'm telling you, it's a lot more going to come out in the future. Some of your greatest heroes are going to let you down. Some of your greatest heroes are going to let you down because no one choose to fact check and they take everything at face value. Talk about here today. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? I'm telling you, some of the greatest heroes and your superstars and your sheroes, they're going to let you down. Because now we have to look back, we have to see who's who, and we have to get those out the way that look like those who betrayed us in this day and time. See, I like what Jay Hammer say. You would think informers would find a foxhole and be quiet before they are out and instead they get louder. And this is why, Jay Hammer, Jay Hammer, the reason why they get louder is because they've been getting away with it. It's been easy to get away with it. It's it been easy to get away with it for the last 30 years. So they just comfortable. They're just comfortable. They think that everybody is going to just go with the flow. They are just super comfortable. They didn't expect the Tahaka Bay to bring it on right behind there and examine everything that they talk about. They thought they was going to call me a troll and I was going to go away. They thought they was going to call me an agent and I was going to go away. They thought they, I was, they was going to threaten me and I was going to throw away. But no, the moment you call me an agent, you're going to have to show and prove. Because when you call me an agent, I'm going to find out if you're the agent. I'm going to find out. Because normally, normally what, what, I, what I've discovered, you know what I mean? Let me see. Let what you are proved better speaking about them only prove they have the power. Uh, let me show you what power is. Will block him. That's what power is. I got the power to block you because you're not following the, what's going on. So I've got the power to block you because we're not going to let you detract us. So uh, uh, Robert Bowie, make another account and then come on back and I'll show you what power is. Shut your mouth, learn, keep it moving. That's power. I mean, I got the power to block you because we're not going to have you trying to retract, re redirect people because that's what agents do too. That's what agents do too. You're always trying to muddy the waters and redirect people. So you can tell they got power because you're talking about them. Let me show you what real power is. Click this little mouse right here. Let me, this little here. This, this mouse right here is bigger than you rats. <laughs> this mouse here is more powerful than you rats. <laughs> A little click. Big. <laughs> That's right. That's right. This little mouse is more powerful than you rats. Now, get on out of here now because because we're not interested. We're not interested in your distractions. That's right. We're not interested in your distractions. We're interested in trying to figure out who's who around us. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're interested in. Now, so here we go. Bought your gas. Bought your car. Now, right here, this is for all of y'all who, who took a dollar from Malik. This is for all of y'all who took gas money who took sandwich money. Now he talk about you publicly. Our prophet Dober Drali says, don't take nothing from the hand of the proud. Never take nothing from the hand of the proud because this is what they do to you. 
bought your hotel, bought your plane ticket, bought your arena, bought your stage, bought your sound system, bought you that when you cash up in me in the midnight hour, getting this and that, like I'm a human government. Nobody give me donations here. You hear what he said? Listen, family. There it is. He says nobody give him donations. Yet, in another video, he's bragging about a million views. How you going to brag about a million views on videos, but you said you only give him money and nobody gives you donations? You understand what I'm saying? See, he, he double talks so much. You know what I mean? He double talks so much. He double talks so much. He says nobody gives him anything. Can you answer me a question then? Why are you bragging about that you're a national leader? That you got 2,000 views, 2 million views. That you got 40,000 followers. Did y'all see that last night? Press 7 if you heard him say that last night. That he got 40,000, quote unquote, supporters, followers. He compared himself to Moorish World TV. He said he got all of this, this, these followers that he got millions of views. There you go. Jay Hammer said 20 million views. But listen to what he said. Nobody give me donations here. Okay, Nobody Malik, pay Malik, my way this and that. Like I'm a human government. Nobody give me donations here. Okay, Nobody Malik, pay Malik, my way. Malik, 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 take a breath for a second. Let me. Let me All my oh, money oh, is. Malik, let, me, let, me, let me answer that. Let me, let me tell you. Let me say something. All my money is given. My money came from the Lord. And oh, no, sister, don't stop me now. No, Desert Eagle, don't stop me now. Don't stop me because all my money come from the Lord to the people. Oh, this boy, crazy. Listen to him one more time. Midnight hour, getting this in each. Bought your sound system. Bought you that. He sounds just like a preacher. Watch him. When you cash up in me in the midnight hour. In the midnight hour. <laughs> this your leader. This is your leader. <laughs> y'all knew I was going to get him. You knew I was going to get him. While y'all was watching this and y'all was bigging up and y'all was thumbing up that video, you was like, oh, my God. Man, <laughs> he's giving to Hawker Bay so much material. Shut up. Shut up. He's giving to Aga Bay so much material. And then the thing about it is, people that know you know you're lying. They know you lying. And that was the good thing. That was the good thing that you did this interview because you look right in the camera and you lie with a straight face. And those who've been around you long enough know that you're lying. They know that you're lying. Let's let them go. Getting this and that, like I'm a human government. Nobody give me donations here. Okay, Nobody Malik, pay Malik, my Malik, way. Malik, 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 take a breath for a second. Let me. Let me All my oh, money oh, is. Malik, let me, Malik, let me, let me answer that. Let me, let, me, let me tell you. Let me answer that. Let me, let me, let me, let me, for a second. Let me. Let me All my money is. All my money is. All my money is. Malik, let me. 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 Let me answer that. Let me tell you. 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 Let me tell My money is giving. All my money is giving. All my money is giving. Do do do. All my money. Do do do. All my money. Do do. Anybody know how I put beats to this stuff? Somebody need to make a beat with there. All my money. Do do do. All my money. Do do. <laughs> make a Baltimore club beat to this foolishness. <laughs> let me let me answer that. All my money is money. Let me let me. All my money is money. 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 All my money is Malik. All my money is Malik. Let me let me answer that. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you. Let me say something to you. <laughs> this y'all leader. Whoever followed this guy, you good and crazy. Yes, indeed. 
Yes, indeed. You are good and crazy. All oh, my money. Oh, all my money. Dude, all my money. Dude, Baltimore Club up in this joint. <laughs> I'm a... Shout out to Desert Eagle, man. Desert Eagle did a fine job. And I will say that Desert Eagle, I don't mean no harm, man. Let me say this. Desert Eagle is a heck of a friend. <laughs> because Desert Eagle is really trying to save him. <laughs> Desert Eagle, he's a he's trying to be a good friend and like. Would you please be quiet? Just stop. You're too emotional. You too. <laughs> he had to laugh himself. Watch, watch. Watch your gas. Watch this. All my money oh, is. Let me, let, me, let me answer that. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you. Let me say something to you. <laughs> Desert Eagle try to stop him. Look at look at Desert Eagle. Look at that look. <laughs> He's like, God dang. He, he he Desert Eagle feel like he did with uh 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 uh, uh Grandmaster J. Get it together, John. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna throw you a lifeline. If it ever get heated, I'm gonna throw you a lifeline. All right, here's the lifeline. Oh, all my money. Oh, let, let, me, let me let me answer that. The, hell they <laughs> the lifeline is. Let me, let me. Whenever you hear me say, let me, let me, that means cut it off. <laughs> this oh, let, me, let, me, let me answer that. Let me, let, me, let me tell you, let me say something to you. <laughs> That's all Desert Eagle can say is, let me, 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 oh, my money, 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 let me, let me, oh, my Good. Oh my money. Trap is screw it. Oh my money. <laughs> but this is what he was doing last night. And, 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 and listen, listen. Hey family, with all jokes aside, do you really know what we're talking about, right? We're talking about that this guy is providing a path for revolution or liberation. Press seven so we don't get off track. What this is all about. That this guy is, is providing a path for revolution and liberation. You, you, you get what I'm saying? Somebody is really going to follow this for the path of revolution? When you look at all the paths of revolution around the world, this don't even come close. It don't even come close. It doesn't even come close. This is a sideshow. Why are we so disillusioned to believe that this is even practical? This is not even practical. It ain't even near practical. It's not even near practical. Like, I mean, there is not one iota of, well, maybe, not one. And if you are honest, you would have to admit that this looks crazy and it's an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment. But he said, he said, you are the embarrassment for watching more Schmerl TV. Unbelievable to me. Unbelievable to me. It's just an it's an embarrassment. But let me tell you, that's the real embarrassment. That's the matter of fact. That's the only embarrassment. Now, now Bay hates me because Bay knows that, uh, like the man he was attacking before every day, Grandmaster J, he sees me as a great hope. He sees me as one that could that could probably take the black power, black nationalist movement. In fact, you called me an agent because of what I saw in Grandmaster J. And I researched you and found out that you're suspect. And as I go further and further, 
as I get towards the second half of this show, it's going to get worse. To the mainstream, because I got like nationalist credentials, but I got mainstream credentials. I'm an attorney, civil rights attorney. Okay, so thus, this is the attack on me. Attack on me. Same attack that come from the U.S. government. So I'm awesome. This is how them informants do. They always, this is, this is, I, I've been watching them. Like, this is his main tactic. This is what the U.S. government does and Dr. Khaled. He always talking about somebody doing what the government does. And then he always talk about name drop Dr. Khaled. Watch as the show go. Watch this stuff. Unbelievable. See, the thing is this, my brother. The Holy Quran says. Now he, now he, now he a Muslim. The Holy Quran says. Watch this. That when an unrighteous man brings you news, look carefully into it, right. lest you harm someone in ignorance. You know what's funny, though? In my interview with Malik, he says he's not a Muslim. In my interview with Malik, did anybody ever see the interview I did with Malik? He says, one, he wasn't a member of the Nation of Islam and never been a registered member. Two, he's not a Muslim. But he sure goes through the Quran and the Bible a lot. But in this interview, we find out that he went to Catholic school. That he went to Catholic school and be sorry for what you have done. Nobody that has robbed black people, ripped off black people. He said, I robbed black people. I ripped off black people. Been in jail for felonies and fraud and ripped off and lied to black people all their life. Been nothing but a man. See, he pulling on heartstrings again. I've been in jail all my life. I robbed people all my life. I fraud. <laughs> This what this fool say. He wants you to. He wants you to believe this. Look at a bad character, fraud, deceit, lies, and crime against black people will ever even begin to think that their opinion or judgment would ever weigh up anything. <laughs> what he say for felonies and fraud and ripped off and lied to black people all their life. Been nothing but a man of bad character, fraud, they a bad deceit, preacher, lies, and crime against black people will ever even begin to think that their opinion or judgment would ever weigh up anything on Malik Zulu Shabazz. Okay? Listen to the language one more time. Fraud and ripped off and lied as robbed black people, ripped off black people to it. Right. Lest you harm someone in ignorance and be sorry for what you have done. Nobody that has robbed black people, ripped off black people, been in jail for felonies. And now stop there been in jail for felonies so that means anybody mm, malik you just digging a hole deeper you just digging a hole deeper malik now look he just got on those who've been in jail for felonies right that's what he said but then what he said in the same as long conversation as they have shown that they have sufficient remorse and rehabilitation you know and i have no problem telling you that brother ahmad muhammad to me, he represents God, brother. Now, Akmal Muhammad been to jail and they try to say that the brother switched on him or whatever, but he said he represents God. Listen to him. He represents a man that fell and got back up and he's an example of the work I'm trying to do, which is mentor and help young black men to be in the liberation struggle and not written off because of something on their criminal record. That makes <laughs> Can you? Did y'all just hear this? Did y'all just hear this? <laughs> Did y'all hear this? <laughs> That's that fork tongue talk. <laughs> That's that fork tongue talk. Did y'all just hear that? Listen. Because no better than the white man. Okay. Listen. Listen. Watch because it. No better than the because of something on their criminal record. That make us no better than the white man. No. Because of something on their criminal record. That make us no better than the white man fraud and ripped off and lied to black people all their life been nothing but a man of bad character fraud deceit lies and crime against black people will ever even begin to think that they are okay. criminal record that make us no better than the white man not written off 
because of something on their criminal record. That make us no better than the white man. Okay. <laughs> as long as they... <laughs> Y'all see that? <laughs> My brother say, let me see. GS, I still want to know the end goal. I don't want the end goal to be I become a doctor and pay all my taxes with the white fits and dumb. The end goal is that the true revolutionary stand up and take this where it need to go. That's the end goal for the revolutionary. I'm a Moorish American and I would love to have true revolutionaries to be on my side when, uh, when it goes down. You know what I mean? But this guy here, it ain't never going down unless you going down by following him. You follow him, Zach? It is what it is. I mean, so hold up. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. What else we got here? Um, black conscious because I come from. Uh, 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 oh, oh no! This next, this next, this next. My fault. My fault. My fault. Here's another contradiction. Here's another contradiction. Let me get this right. Let me get this right. Here's another contradiction. I got to get the other one up first. Now, this is what he said. All right. I think this is it right here. From being a social worker to now on the other block, down the block. He's talking about his mother here. There's a whole block in Los Angeles. I mean, she owns the block. Let me stop okay. there. Because that's that's coming up in a minute. That's coming up in a minute. That's that is not what I want you to see. I mean, I want to show you. Hold up. Hold up. Let me find it real quick. Is that it? Let me see. Work. My work. I don't know about y'all two A experts. I respect y'all. My work is with felons. Felons. My work is with felons. My work was with a nation of Islam experts. I respect y'all. My work is with felons. Y'all see this? <laughs> this is your leader. This is your leader. <laughs> this is so my work. I don't know about y'all two A experts. I respect y'all. My work is with felons. What is she on the block for? I'm playing basketball at a Catholic high school. And so I get, I come. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Y'all ain't ready for that yet. Hold up. I'm trying to find this one. I'm trying to find this one real quick. Where he says. I'll tell you what he says. He makes this statement. He says. Here we go. Listen to this. Yeah, this is my father, right? Who raised me from three. I want you to listen closely to this contradiction. Now, this is where the rubber meets the road. This is the most, this is where an agent can't but forget his, can't remember his lie. Listen real closely to this. Pay close attention to this. This is where an informant cannot remember his lie. Listen. All the way up till he passed a few years ago. Okay, his whole existence. Watch this. Uh, uh, was 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 reforming addicts and prisoners, and he and he was known all over California, all the way up to the Nixon administration. And so when I'm coming up as a baby, I'm sitting in the so-called ghettos of, of South Central Los Angeles, and I'm in these meetings. And on the wall is Malcolm. On the wall is Martin. Y'all hear it? He says, on the wall is Malcolm. On the wall is Martin Luther King. Now, I cut it too short, but listen again. I want you to pay close attention. Watch this. This is where these this is where these informants cannot hold their lie. Watch this. I'm sitting in the so-called ghettos of, of South Central Los Angeles, and I'm in these meetings. And on the wall is Malcolm. On the wall. He's talking about his stepfather who raised him. We're going to get into that, too. He says, on the wall, it's Malcolm. But now watch this. Because she'd been for 40 years at Howard University by the grace of real black conscience. 
Because Listen, I'm not real black conscious. I'm not real black conscious. He said when he goes to Howard University, he's not really black conscious. Listen, listen to why. I'm not real black conscious because I come from, uh, 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 I'm playing basketball at a Catholic high school. And so I get, I come to Howard University by the grace of my cousins, Pastor Ted Sutton and them in Baltimore. I say, I'm going to come here to Howard. And when I come to Howard, brother, I get woken up. Did y'all just hear that? But he said that he was raised with Malcolm on the wall and Martin on the wall. But this is your leader. My work was a nation of Islam as a one third Martin. And so when I'm coming up as a baby, I'm sitting in the so-called ghettos of, of South Central Los Angeles, and I'm in these meetings, and on the wall is Malcolm, on the wall is Martin. So he's in the ghetto, but listen to what he said. At a Catholic high school, at a Catholic high school. And uh, 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 I'm playing basketball at a Catholic high school. And so I get, I come to Howard University by the grace of my cousins, Pastor Ted Sutton and them in Baltimore. I say, I'm going to come here to Howard. And when I come to Howard, brother, I get woken up. This is y'all leader. See, my story would never change. My story would never change because my story is the real deal. Any more questions? We just getting started. How does this story change in the course of one interview? How does this story change so dramatically from growing up in the ghetto to looking at, oh, I know, I know brother Ted Sutton. I know the younger Ted Sutton. Absolutely. He actually do community work here. We're going to pull up on him too. In fact, let me show you something. That's Ted right here. Hold up. Crazy Ted. He's a community organizer here. And it's Ted Sutton. We're going to find out if he's related. <laughs> That's right. Now. But with that being said, you see how quickly, like, and I hope that those that follow him are watching this. Like, you can get bit mad at me all day. But now, you got to deal with him with these contradictions. You got to deal with him with these contradictions. Muhammad, you ain't doing nothing. Be quiet. Be quiet before I kick you out the chat, fat boy. That's right. I'm going all in today. You ain't no prince and you ain't no Muhammad. Be quiet. Only thing you is is a petty thief who steal from his father, Prince Muhammad. That's all you is. You a petty thief as a grown man stealing from People who can't defend themselves. Be quiet before I kick you out the chat. Now sit back and learn. But you on the same team. You them people too. You them people too. There you go. And you just be quiet. You keep talking. And you're going to be watching from the sideline. Because you up, I'm about to talk about you next anyway. I'm about to talk about you next anyway. You up next. Don't worry. You ain't have to say nothing. You was up next. Matter of fact, here we go. And that is somebody, and they've made the distinction. Like, wait a minute. This is somebody that Malik 
is in fellowship with and made him his right hand man. Somebody who stands. We're talking about Najee Muhammad. Since he wants to speak up, thank you for speaking up because I almost forgot about you. And in there with a conversation saying that they move with notification to the feds and the CIA. What do you have to say about that? Okay, I have to say that, first of all, let me open up by saying Brother Minister Najee Muhammad is a man that I've known for a long time and a man that I honor and I respect. Mm -hmm. And I still respect him to this very day. And I'm going to tell everybody why. Okay, I met Minister Najee in 1998, Million Youth March with Khalid Mohammed. He soon became a, uh, a, a significant leader in the new Black Panther Party under Khalid Mohammed. When Dr. Khalid Mohammed passed for many years, Najee Mohammed helped me to build the new Black Panther Party in the absence of Khalid Mohammed. Najee Muhammad traveled the length and breadth of this nation and he worked tirelessly and sincerely for many, many years through many obstacles. And all those years I know him, my brother, I never saw him with any kind of conduct where I would suspect him to be in any way working for the enemy. Matter of fact, I know Najee Muhammad to be hard on the enemy. I know him to be a sincere follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and Najee Muhammad probably i don't know for sure but it's likely that he's probably even killed some of the enemy because he's been behind bars <laughs> yeah this fool talking <laughs> we're gonna talk about that in a minute <laughs> this fool that gone crazy now first of all he says that he vouched for naji muhammad right that's number one and there ain't nothing wrong with that there ain't nothing wrong with that but to vouch for one who is on the record hey where have you been no this is a no this an fbi person called me and asked me some questions about what happened he's talking to the fbi all right that's number one He's talking to the FBI right here. Now we got two different instances where he's talking to the FBI. Two different instances where he's talking to the FBI. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. We have two different instances. Hold on, let me pull up the second one. Because I obviously he think y'all slow. I mean, obviously he think y'all slow. So let me just pull up the second one real quick. But he wrote the FBI, in fact. He actually wrote the FBI. There it is. There we got him. There we got him. We got him in the Cobra Clutch right now. Where he vote, he wrote the FBI. Okay, here we go. Now, how can a man claim to be a revolutionary and try to vouch for one who wrote the FBI of his own words? We, the new Black Theological Institute Center investigation team, are offering this report to Atlanta Police Department and the FBI. This is this is what you call protection, where they're going to protect somebody on their own. When you go down, it says, this hit that is said is coming out of Atlanta, Georgia, camp of NBPP. The question is, was, what does the national chairman Malik Zulu Sabaz have to say? And what is he doing about the assassination plot of Minister Najee Muhammad, with whom he says he loves so much? He went to the FBI with this. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Y'all can't see it. Yeah. He went to the FBI with this. We, the new Theological Institute Center, that's Najee Muhammad, 
investigation team are offering this report to the Atlanta Police Department and the FBI. I'm not real black. I don't know for sure, but uh, it is a reasonable possibility. Najee Muhammad, to me, is the real deal. Mm -hmm. Now, Najee, my brother Najee Muhammad, in the year 2010, uh, due to, uh, I guess, infighting in the new Black Panther Party and opposition there, he formed uh, Look at the, lie. the Look new at the lie. Black Liberation Militia. Look at the lie. Under other names at first. And so, brother Najee. Najee Muhammad know the workings. See, they got the same, they 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 must be uh, uh, dealing with the same handler because they're protecting each other. They got to be dealing with the same handler. He went out under his own leadership. He and I were not at odds, but he was out there. He went out to make his own decisions. So in the course of being under his own leadership from the years, I guess, 2010 till we reunited in 2020, Minister Najee Muhammad may have done some things or encountered some things. He may have stood. Malik, a civil rights attorney that worked with felons. Who write the FBI? Hmm, yeah. Who sound like Department of Corrections to me? <laughs> Shout out to Crip. I'm telling you, he, he playing with the wrong one. He may have been infiltrated by some stool pigeons or some rats like the man you're talking about. The man you're talking about, you mean Millie, who I have no doubt about. I'm convinced that he is an informant. Now, he talking about Marshall X. He's talking about Marshall Ohm's X. He said he has no doubt that he's an informant. Because, and so if you say he was in a picture with Najee Muhammad, not a or, picture. Or not a video. Picture. He was, he was in a video. Yes, he right. was in a video, but Maji wasn't saying something. But Millier came out saying something, and it's okay. Try to clean crazy, this up. Saying that, um, um, that brother Najee, I mean, not not that brother Najee, that he's saying that everything he does, he reports it to the FBI, he reports it to the CIA. That sounds like something Millier. No, no, no. That, that let's go to the footage. 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 Hmm. Let's go to the footage real quick. Yeah, let's go to the footage. Hold up one second, family. Because we're not going to let him say that. That that sounds like him and make it sound like uh, he was he was uh, uh, just around. Now, let's go to the footage. Let's go to the footage. He's going to try to make it sound like, oh, Najee was just around him and... And, and and if he said that, then uh, no, no, we're going to go to the footage. And the truth is not in it. Anybody to try to take your life, you're going to fight like <clears throat> a cat or a dog to keep it. That's right. You're going to fight to keep it. And that's logical. But when it's the police department that, that, that should protect the peace, that are always connected to death, this should concern the city, not just black people. But it should concern a community that should be made up of black and white and other integrated community members. Right. And, and, and it saddened me to say that the entire city, their expectations are not risen to expect an answer to something that, 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 has been trying, uh, that they're trying to keep conclusive. So we're, we're searching for an answer. And we wouldn't be down here. Again, we talked with the family. We talked with Miss Tally, who's the grandmother. We talked to the, the niece, the uh, the uh, family. Do it look like, does it look like he's being infiltrated? Do it look like Najee is being infiltrated? Family members. And we talked to we Najee talked. is on security for the new he Black Panther Party. He helped show us everything. And we were so confident uh, in it that in leaving Washington, in leaving Washington, D.C., from our national office, that we contacted the CIA and the FBI to let them know that we were coming down. We knew we were coming down to hostile territory. 
Does it look like Najee Muhammad? Hold up. One second. Because y'all let, let people just say anything. People just say anything and think we supposed to go for Dude, it. That was the same man that found me fighting on the front. He may have stood with, he may have been infiltrated by some stool pigeons or some rats like the man you're talking about. The man you're talking about, you mean Millie, who I have no doubt about. And I'm convinced that he is an informant. Because, and so if you say he was in a picture with Najee Muhammad, not a or, picture, or not a picture. video, he was, he was in a video. He right. was in a video, but Maji wasn't saying something, but Millie came out saying something. And it's you see how he said he was in a picture, but Najee wasn't saying something, but Millie was saying something. This is how he flipped it real fast. Now, at first, he acted like it was a picture because if he said, yeah, it's a picture, he can escape and it'd be a done conversation. But watch how he adjusts real fast. Straight informant behavior. You say he was in a picture with Najee watch. Muhammad. Watch this. Not a picture. Or, or Not a picture. video. He was, he was in a video. Yes, he right. was in a video, but Najee wasn't saying something, but Millie came out saying something, and it sounded crazy. Press 7 if y'all caught that. Press 7 if y'all caught that. He said he was in a picture and he's going with the picture narrative. And then Desert Eagle say, no, 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 it wasn't a picture. He said, but in there, you know, he he he's saying something, but Najee ain't. Come on, man. This hand in the cookie jar. This man hand is in the cookie jar. You can't you can't blame Tahaka Bay for this. This is him. Can't lie straight. That's he right. was in a video, but Maji wasn't saying something, but Millie came out saying something, and it sounded crazy. You can't blame me. Run run by the state when something had happened. You got to alert them the same way we done on every campaign from Gina up to now. Now, let's be serious. Now, let's be serious. He said that we alerted the FBI and the CIA the same thing we did on every campaign from Gina up to now. Y'all know who was at the Gina, uh, uh, the Gina campaign, right? Come on, man. This, this, is, this is a cakewalk. This is a cakewalk. And we were so confident coming down because we thought that we had the uh, participation of the lawyer who said that he was in fear of his life and that the North Carolina uh, Police Department is one of the worst police departments uh, possibly. Must I say more? Must I say more? I'm the provocateur? Hold up. It's about to get good, family. It's about to get good. It's about to get good. Y'all ready? It's about to get good. It's been good so far. Press seven if it's been good so far. Press, press seven if it's been good so far. If it's been good so far. Because it's about to get better. I'm about to drop the bomb in a minute. You know what I mean? About to drop the bomb in a minute. That's what I'm about to do. I'm going to drop the bomb. He dropped the bomb on me, baby. He dropped the bomb on me, baby. He dropped the bomb on me, baby. He dropped the bomb on me, baby, 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 baby. Oh, my money. <laughs> oh, oh, my money. <laughs> oh, my money. <laughs> Dumbass, <laughs> like my uncle Pete used to say. My uncle Pete used to stutter, and um, <laughs> when I was young, Uncle Pete said, "Go, go, go, go in the house," and I'd be like, "No, you go, 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 go in the house." And he get mad because I used to, you know, be mock him because he stutter, and he used to chase me, and he used to wear them slippery earls. We called them slippery earls. That's them hard bottom shoes that slip the dress shoes with the little tassels on the tip. <laughs> We called them slippery earls. He'd be like, go, 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 go in the house. I'd be like, you go, 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 go in the house. And I'd take off running. And he would catch me with them slippery earls on and them polyester pants. But he could run. He would catch me. I'd be like, oh, no. And then he'd catch me. And then he'd just punch me in my leg and make a frog come out. Bam. I'd be like, ah. And he'd look at me and say, the dumb is you. 
That's how I look at Malik. The dumbest you. Yeah, go, 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 go in the house. You go, go, go in the house. He said, what? I take off running. Ah, he'll catch me. Bam. I was like, ah, my uncle peeing me in my leg. He's like, the, 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 the dumb as you. <laughs> Woo. Shout out to Uncle Pete. That's right. <laughs> it make the, anybody got hit with that frog pop up in the leg? Woo. Oh my God, hit you right in the knuckle with the knuckle. Bam. <laughs> yeah, them hard sole shoes. Slippery Earls, boy. My uncle could run in them Jones. Oh, man. All right, anyway, let's get back to it because it's about to get good. It's about to get good, family. Let me see what else I got over here, real quick, before I get to the good part. All right. So now. All right, two things I got to get. Oh, we got to get to this first. We got to get to this first. Hold on. We got to get to this first. We got to get to this first. Then I got to get to my man who really got busy. Um, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, here we go. What's in the park? That would be almost 100% true. He asked him. Was there any fraternizing going on in the party? In other words, he's asking him, has he had sexual relations with sisters in the party? And this is what he had to say. That would be almost 100% true. What, that would be almost half 100%. Half truth is a whole lie now. No, no, because I can't <laughs> say no, 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 because... Fraternization. But first of all, I have the right. Hold one second, my brother. I have a right to. I have a right to to fraternize. <laughs> but I'm I have a right to. This fool says that because he's the leader, he has the right to fraternize. Fam, if you don't know what fraternize means, it would imply that he can put his hand in the cookie jar at will. Whenever he get ready. Oh, that's that, that <laughs> to associate or to form. Listen to this. Listen to this. This is an attorney. Let me let me let me screenshot this real quick so y'all can see. So so he said <laughs> this. This is your leader speaking. All right. This is your leader. Whoever leader he is, this is your leader. Hold on one second. I want you to hear what he says first. And then I want you to read this. This is an attorney now. This is an attorney saying this foolishness. Listen to what he said. To fraternize. I just want to take as a human to fraternize. 100%. But first of all, I have the right. Hold one second, my brother. I have a right to I have a right to, to fraternize. Stop right there. This is how ignorant this fool is. Fraternize. Fraternize. Associate or form friendship with someone, especially when one is not supposed to. This is your leader. This is your brother. This is the one that's going to stand side by side with you fighting this illusion of an enemy. He says, once again, he says, once again, I I'm, I'm have a right to fraternize. Like, but I'm, I'm have a right to fraternize. Like, explain, you want to, as a human, explain that as in leadership. As a human being, I have a right to fraternize. You know the funny thing about it, though, is that Desert Eagle is actually using a term that he's familiar with from the military, fraternizing with the enemy, et cetera, et cetera. But this goofball do not know the dictionary meaning of what fraternize means. He really thinking that 
Fraternize means that you just get chummy chum and mushy mushy. But fraternizing is a violation in an organization that you are a leader of. So in reality, this attorney don't even know what fraternizing mean or imply. Fraternizing mean that you're doing something that you're not supposed to be doing with someone that could jeopardize security, intel, and safety. This guy is unbelievably ignorant. Or he just talked too much. This was classic, man. This interview that he did was classic. This this one here was classic. And, 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 and now we're going to bring some more receipts. It's coming in a minute. Yeah, I told you we're going to be here two hours and we right on time. We right on time. Listen. I have, as a man, as a man, I have a right to, if it's a woman that I like or desire and I choose to, uh, like, to have her as my woman or my so, queen so, or to my, my So to my question, you're giving a long yes. No, 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 I'm not. I'm telling you, brother, you can talk. Let me give you my answer, brother, 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 brother. That's not what happens in the new Black Panther Party. That's not what happens, okay? Is that a no? Has there ever been has there ever been a sister in the party that I may have liked at a certain point? The answer would be yes. Oh yes. The answer would be yes. But I'm just to tell you that that's just not what goes on here. So hold just on. Ever. So so you indirectly did you you indirectly answered and did not answer. Have I ever met a a a a I didn't say a, meet. Have you ever had relations, dealings, relationship with anyone under your command while being in leadership in the new Black Panther Party? Um, maybe one time. That's a long <laughs> Um, um, maybe one time, but I didn't inhale. <laughs> General Gazi, look at your boy. <laughs> maybe one time. But I didn't inhale, but I blew circles. <laughs> General Gazi, look at your boy. <laughs> maybe one time. And I didn't say it was definite. I said, maybe. Let me consider. One plus one carry to two. Two minus zero equals two. Two minus two equals zero. Nope, I never did it. <laughs> Maybe. Let me think. <laughs> and this is your leader. <laughs> Under your command while being in leadership in the new Black Panther Party. Um, maybe one time. That's <laughs> hey, I need somebody to clip these things for me. Maybe one time. I'm making TikToks out of this. All my clips are going to be TikToks. I'm flooded. I'm going to be a TikToker. You're going to make me a famous TikToker, Malik. <laughs> I'm going to do just like Malik do on his TikToks. I'm going to just look at him like. Like it. Why you saying that? I'm like. Y'all see Malik goofy TikToks? You see Malik goofy TikToks? He be like. With anyone under your command while being in leadership in the new Black Panther Party. Um, Maybe one time. That's a long That's I, yes. Okay, well, you can say yes if you want to, brother. I did. I'm, a, I'm a grown goddamn man. I, but yeah. see, but hold on, wait a second. A grown goddamn man. Listen, yes, no, hold on, wait, well, hold on, Malik. See, see, the answer that you just right there when you Malik is an immature little boy. He's not a grown man. He's an immature little boy. That's what little boys say. That's what boys with mustaches say. I'm a grown man. See, boys with mustaches, they always say that. Man, why are you carrying it like that? I'm a grown man. Only boys with mustaches talk like that. You know what I'm saying? Real men don't talk like that. Stand-up men don't talk like that. You know what I mean? A, a, a man that, that, that has a daughter don't talk like that. Unless he's an ignorant fool. You feel what I'm saying? He's an ignorant fool. I'm a grown man. These are boys with mustaches. Sisters, please beware of boys with mustaches over 40. 
I mean, under 30, they might can be fixed. But boys with mustaches over 40, dumb at 40, dumb forever. A old head told me that in college one time. He said, he said, he said, Junior, he said, let me tell you something, Junior. He said, you're too smart to be, be, be dealing in this type of environment in this college. He said, let me tell you something, Junior. He said, a lot of these people are 40 years old. Brother name was Rock. He had bald head like, like Rock on the TV show. He said, a lot of these guys are 40 years old. He was like, and they just as dumb as ever. He said, never forget, dumb at 40 is dumb forever. There's a small chance that they can turn it around. But the chance is so slim that you shouldn't waste your time with it. Leave those types alone. And I'm going to give you the same advice. Always remember, dumb at 40 is dumb forever. There's a small chance that they were wising up. But the chance is so slim that you would waste your time waiting for them to wisen up. Real talk. That's a real life lesson. You can use that with your family. You can use it with your friends. You can use it at your, with your associates. You can use it at the job. Dumb at 40 is dumb forever. There's a slim chance that they could turn around. But the chance is so slim, you shouldn't even waste your time. Poor Tink Tink. <laughs> Shout out to Yazzie. Poor Tink Tink. I could like hear that joint too. Poor Tink Tink. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look, this is real talk. Punctuated with I'm a grown goddamn man. That's the sentiment that too many right now in inadequate forms of leadership are given as justification to the reason why they're peddling penis all around the, the deal. And, and, and Desert Eagle told the truth. This is the reason why they peddling private parts all around these formations. Malik just admitted the same thing that Ali Muhammad, yup, Big Shirley and Delta have done. This people are a whole joke. Isn't that what Ali Muhammad? Huh? Big Shirley, huh? Y'all don't see the pattern? Y'all don't see the pattern? This is leadership? See, look, he can say what he want about Tahaka Bay. He can say what he want about Morris World TV. But this here speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. Now, one of the two things, let me take, let me take a break real quick. Let me take, let me take a commercial break. Let me take a commercial break real quick. Let me take a commercial break. Yeah, man. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, let me, let me, let me, because we about to get hot in a minute. We about to get hot up in here. Yeah, man. We about to get hot in here. It's about to get, it's about to get real heated in here for the next 15 minutes. It's going to be nothing but blazing. Please share this. Thumbs up. Do what you need to do because it's about to get blazing up in here. Protected, well protected, well protected. You don't win wars by marching and protesting. You win wars by fighting back. General Rottweiler, a member of the armed patrol, says he wants justice by any means necessary. We have to fight back. So you can't just sit there and your family gets murdered or your people get murdered. When you see a Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me get an intro real quick. Hold up. Because this is about to get heated. I got to set this up. I got to set this up. It's about to get heated now. You don't want to miss this. You definitely don't want to miss this. Oh, you 
I'll be there more, you gon' remember To all the bay front line Till the law call my you number. a friend of the Moors, then you a friend of mine I was told to watch my enemies, now hold my line Those who speak against the prophet, they speak against me And I'm speaking about the prophet over Drew Ali Who was the first to remind you and bind you back To Morocco, the mountains, Mississippi, and Quebec Told you you wasn't black, prove it a straight fact You tripping off Trump, you need to be tripping off that Now here we go again, acting like you a slave The same people talk European on the face And look at that women, buy European hair No love for self, but do the men really care? Hell no, cause they got a love for Europe Whole generation chasing pills, weed and serve Yeah, they love no yachty, Tucci, Gucci, Kodak, Amigos but when I love for the woman, look like your mother I guess they say it's all black when it's under the cover Now cypher, I'll be that more you gon' remember I'ma be that more you gon' remember, that's right I'll be that more you gon' remember To Harker Bay front line till the law call my number I'll be that more you gon' remember I'ma be that more you gon' remember, that's right I be that more you gon' remember To Harker Bay front line till the law call my number All you super scholars holler This era for the workers You ain't building on the ground Then you worse than a twerker You look and sound good But that's only on the surface Probably working for the people Now tell me what's your purpose Ain't worried about your homie But know that I know Every mo that rock a fast He ain't my bro Yeah you know I ain't slow I seen it all before How they try to kill the prophet It was all for show And some got it right now Don't say that I'm not down, I'm coming for my fast mistakes. I want my town, my shirt, my scores, my school, my nation. Sick and tired of the procrastination and debate. Y'all keep hating when love is the savior. You don't love yourself, so you can't love your neighbor. That's why you kill and fight and marry out of your race. If you ain't for Moorish world, then get out of my face. Cause Chinese love China, Italians love Italy. If you used to love the Moorish world, come on and build it with me. Let's go. I be that more, you gon' remember. I'ma be that more you gon' remember, that's right I be that more you gon' remember To hawk a bay front line till the law call my number I be that more you gon' remember I'ma be that more you gon' remember, oh yeah I be that more you gon' remember To hawk a bay front line till the law call my number I be that more you gon' remember, be more I be that more you gon' remember, that time I be that more you gon' remember To hawk a bay front line Till the law call my number I be that more you gon' remember That law I be that more you gon' remember New York I be that more you gon' remember To hawk a bay front line Till the law call my number The only thing I ever sold my people on ice A lot of forgive me is drugs Crack cocaine He says to hawk a bay Toronto Johnson Huh? I call for a Moorish court on Brother Toronto Johnson and anybody who's riding with him with this scandal or with these videos of me and my wife frauding the people. I never saw my brothers and sisters serving these packages when I was with Dawid Ali Hill and them and Taj and them used to come to Chicago. The only thing I ever saw my people and I ask a lot of forgive me is drugs. Crack cocaine. Crack cocaine. Crack cocaine. Oh my goodness, y'all ready? All right, now I had to take a kombucha break. And the reason why that green kombucha something. Mm. Y'all see that green kombucha? This got real greens in it. I mean, all right, y'all ready? Now, the reason why I had to take a break because this is about to get a little bit touchy. I want to ask y'all a question. If y'all familiar with this, if y'all been around for a while, what is the impression that you have about Malik as it says? As it lends itself to his family and his upbringing. Do anybody know what, it, what, what Malik has told the public that his mother 
does for a living. Do anybody know? Up until the last night, what was the impression given about what his mom do for a living? Do anybody know? I'm going to wait till somebody comment because this has been an all going thought. This has been an ongoing thought. Let me see if it's in the bio of the, of the, let me see, Malik, let me see if, because I'll tell you, the ongoing thought is that Malik We can look at Wikipedia and we can look at all the sources. Okay, New Black Panther Party, Malik Zulu Shabash, 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 early life. He was born 1966, raised in Los Angeles. Say his father, James Lewis, was a Muslim who was killed when Shabazz was a child. Shabazz was raised by his mother, who describes a successful businesswoman. There it is. That's right. So, up until last night, we get a glimpse as to what it is. Now, here, I'm gonna screen share the Wikipedia, which some of these Wikipedias, you can almost guess that some of these people write it themselves. But it says that Shabazz, born in 1966, Paris Lewis was raised in Los Angeles. Shabazz says his father, James Lewis, was a Muslim who was killed when Shabazz was a child. Shabazz was raised by his mother, whom he describes as a sexful, successful businessman, businesswoman. Now, let's stop there for a minute. Number one, here is the discrepancy. But it's not a major one. Number one, his father, James Lewis, was a Muslim, but names him Paris Lewis. And his name is James Lewis. Not a big discrepancy, but with all of the discrepancies together, this anthill becomes a mountain. Now, here we go. His father is named James Lewis, who is a Muslim. According to last night, he was killed in the struggle when he was three, according to last night. Now, his father, James Lewis, names him Paris Lewis, and he ultimately goes to a Catholic high school. Yet, his grandfather, Thomas X, introduces him to the nation of Islam. So obviously, Thomas X is possibly James Lewis' father. So that's two generations of Muslims sends him to a Catholic school. Hold up. That's just a light discrepancy. But now, as he described his mother as a successful businesswoman, let's see exactly. Let's see exactly what he said last night. Let's see exactly what he said last night. And I want you to pay attention to this. All right. One second. Let me find it. Okay. Listen to this. Listen from closely. From being a social worker to now on the other block, down the block. Hold up, hold up. First, first we got to start with his stepfather. First, we got to start with his stepfather first. Here we go. Burning in West. Your stepfather. Yeah, this is my father, right? Who raised me from burning in West. Your stepfather. Yeah, this is my father, right? Who raised me from three all the way up till he passed a few years ago. Okay, his whole existence. Uh, uh, was 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 reforming addicts and prisons, and he and he was 
known all over California, all the way. I want y'all pay attention because it's about to get. This is the so lesson I'm here. Coming up as a baby, I hope Miss Betty stayed up with me tonight. So called ghettos of, of South Central Los Angeles, and I'm in these meetings, and on the wall is Malcolm. On the wall. So listen, pay close attention with exactly what he says. Listen who raised me from three all the way up till he passed a few years ago. He said that this guy raised him from three all the way up until he passed a few years ago. That's what he said. Now, that can't be true. Because the guy, let me play it one more time. Back to Vernon and West. Your stepfather. Yeah, your this father. is my father, right? Who raised me from three all the way up till he passed a few years ago. Pay attention. Okay. Pay close His attention. whole existence uh, uh, was 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 reforming addicts and prisoners, and he and he was known all over California, all the way up to the Nixon administration. And so when I'm coming up as a baby, stop right there. Let's get to it. He said that this guy raised him from three until he passes away a few months ago, right? The guy that he's talking about is Roy Evans. May he rest in power and in peace because he actually did do a lot of work in California. However, however, he did a lot of work through, which is the Bridge Back Project. It says through Bridge Back, was love of Roy's life. There's another side, and that was family. Roy married Doris Lewis in 1970. Doris had two young children and was also raising her teenage sister when Roy happily stepped into the role of father. Together, they welcomed a baby boy, Kamani, in 71. During this 12-year union, hold up, wait a minute. They got together in 1970, and they was together for 12 years. That brings us to 82. They own and operate a little, they own and operate, I'm going to say it again. They own and operated Little Citizen School, a program serving preschool and elementary students including those with special needs. Pay close attention, family, because class is in session. You hear me? Because class is in session. So from 1970 to 82, Ray Evans and Doris Lewis were together. Yet, what did Malik just tell us a few seconds ago? What did he just tell us? Sitting in the so-called ghetto up till he passed a few years ago. Who raised me from three all the way up till he passed a few years ago. This is my Listen, father, right? Now. Who raised me from three all the way up till he passed a few years ago. Now, the problem is that is that he didn't have to lie about this. But some habitual liars, this is what they do. They lie when they don't have to. Some habitual liars, they create a lie and they lie. But this guy, he's a habitual liar. He lie unnecessarily. Listen. Okay, his whole existence raised me from three all the way up till he passed a few years ago. Now, remember, remember, he says that he raised them from three all the way up until he passed a few months ago, a few years ago, however he said it. However he said it. Here's the problem with that. Here is the problem with that. All right. Here is the problem with that. While conducting a training session, Roy and Carlin met at Kindred Community Mental Health Center in 1968. They would remain friends until their path crossed again in 1984. Nearly a decade later in 1990, Carolyn put her foot down and told Roy that he would either marry her or she was gone. Being the smart man he was, they got married and the rest is a 24-year history. A self-made man. Roy 
Roy Evans was married to Carolyn. You hear what I'm saying? Why would he lie about this? Doesn't make sense. But hold up, wait a minute. These are petty lies for no reason. And I'm gonna tell you why he's lying though. One of the one of the one of the one of the reasons, and I want you to plus seven if you understand. One of the reasons that informants and agents lie, so you so they can try to throw you off the scent. They don't expect this type of in-depth research to happen. I have the link. I'm not going to put the link out there, but I have the link that can take you straight to all this. They don't expect this type of in-depth inquiry to happen. They banking off of the ignorance of the people to just go with it. They've been doing it for so long. They're just banking off of ignorance. They don't expect this. Come on. Well, what, what, I probably look insane. What insane person will go and dig up and look for everything? Me. Once you call me an agent, once you threaten me, once you talk crazy, me. I will. I will. And let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. You know what I mean? I, let this be a lesson. If, if you call me an agent, I wonder why. I'm curious who you are. If you call me an agent, if you threaten me, I wonder why, because this is only information. Now, now, here we go. It's going to, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. Now, listen to this. From being a social worker. Now he's talking about his mother. Watch this. To now on the other block, down the block, she has a whole block in Los Angeles. I mean, she owns the block. He said his mother owns the block in Los Angeles. I'm going to bring it all the way back, Crip. Give me a second. Okay. And what does she own the block for? Because she's been for 40 years. She has been educating and reforming some of the toughest gang members. You hear what she said? She's been educating and reforming some of the toughest gang members. Pay attention, family. This is where the rubber meet the road. He's lying unnecessarily. It's rolling 60s, bloods, crack babies for, for 40 years. One of the best in the state of California. And, and, and as a hardworking black woman that's just dedicated to progress. And I'm her student. And, and, and so in the middle of the ghetto, my parents have built institutions of struggle and service. Went on now listen, being a social worker. From a social worker. On the other block, down the block. She has a whole block in Los Angeles. I mean, she owns the block, okay? And what does she own the block for? Because she's been for 40 years. She has been educating and reforming some of the toughest gang members. Stop there. Let me say his mother does have an honorable, a honorable record. But what he's talking about is an unnecessary lie. Again, it's an unnecessary lie. And we're going to share it in a minute. Hold on. It's a very unnecessary lie. And we're about to get into it in a minute. Now, I'll take all challenges for my research. But this one is going to be one for the books. All right. Now, first of all, I want you to remember everything that we just talked about, everything that he just said. First of all, remember that little citizens school that we talked about here? That we talked about here? During the 12-year unit union, they owned and operated little citizens school. When they got divorced or was no longer together, guess who got the school? Doris Evans. You hear what I say? I want you to pay close attention, family. Play, pay close attention. Doris Evans got the school. All right. And when he says that, and when he says 
that she owned the whole block? He's not bluffing. She actually do. She actually do. Pay close attention. But she doesn't own the block for what he's talking about. He's trying to throw you off the scent. Watch this. There you go. What does that say? Go some more. Spin around. Spin around. Spin around. Go down. Spin around. Go down some more. Go down some more. You see that? That's the school. Now stop there for a minute. Notice the American flag. Now, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is the school, a, a nice school, and doing beautiful things as it relates to the children, for the children. There it is, Little Children's West Side Academy. There it is. That's the school. Has nothing to do with gang members per se. Have nothing to do with the rolling 60s. You know what I'm saying? But now, why would, and, and why is this important? Why would he have to lie about that? This is actually very honorable. And it's a beautiful thing. Why is this fool lying? Now, with that being said, Listen to this. Listen to this. Now, you know it's rhetoric. Watch this. Why is he lying? He's saying that she does work with the rolling system. Possibly do. But that ain't what this school is about. And I'll show you what the school is about in a minute. But now watch this. Now he is telling me about my city and what I should do in my city. And let me raise another point while I'm here, man. I respect all my brothers from the military. I do. But let me tell you this. Ain't no ain't nobody from the United States military is going to get up here and try to criticize me. Listen. Try to act like I got. This is for all of y'all that's in the military that, that be with Malik. Listen. I have to prove something to somebody in the U.S. military. Somebody that has stood up on a line and saluted the American flag and saluted the American flag that has stood up on a line and saluted the American flag has registered to be a part of the largest military police force in the world, which is the United States Army. Saluted the American flag. See how hypocr hypocritical this is? See how hypocritical this is? All respect due to your mother no disrespect intended. But there you go. No disrespect intended. No disrespect intended. Now, you cannot speak or represent for your mother like I can't represent for mine nor can my mother at this point represent for me. But with all of this rhetoric, all of these, these little lies, all of this distraction and misinformation, now you know what y'all are dealing with. Now you know what y'all are dealing with. This is the real deal hot guy. He's a hot boy. Y'all can keep working with them. I could care less. Has registered to be a part of the largest military police force in the world, which is the United States Army, Air Force or Marines. It's all the white man stuff. Have lined up, put this cracker. But we're not finished yet. Listen to what he say. He talking to all those in the military. Put this cracker's patch on, saluted his flag, sworn by everything, and fought for the goddamn United States of America and gonna come around here in a few, three or four, five years and as an ex-member of the United Snakes military that is bombed. How can you talk like that when I show you what I'm gonna show you in a minute? Libya, 
bombed Iraq, bombed African people all This is all rhetoric. Country. You wore a uniform. This is this all government. rhetoric. And you're going to come out here and now This is all provocative me, rhetoric. And I ain't never saluted this cracker not one day in my life. This is all provocative rhetoric. All provocative rhetoric. All provocative rhetoric. I'm telling you right now, this is all provocative rhetoric. Watch. I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet. The reason why you need to understand that this provocative rhetoric, that this is a dangerous dude. He's a dangerous dude. He's working with the people. You ain't got to believe me. This is why it's provocative rhetoric. Number one, when they separated in 82, obviously she took over the school. See? Doris M. Evans. You see? Stop talking so much. Stop playing with me. I mean, telling people they're going to own my home. Remember Malik said that? Y'all want to own Taco Bay home? Anybody seen that one? So when they got divorced in 1982, you feel what I'm saying? Or separated in 1982. Because remember, remember what I said. It said that during his 12-year union, so that will bring us to 1982. So she takes over the school. And that's an honorable thing. Why he act like that she's gang intervention? I don't know. But that's what they do. See, last night, he played himself. Now, with that being said, when you go and look, you see that it's a stock corporation, California General. All right. Now, as you can see, now that's another case. As you can see, I'm going to stop right there. But let me tell you something. I'm going to ask you, let me ask you one time. Do y'all know where the funding comes from? It's a private school that also gets supplemental funding. Tell me where it come from. I'll wait. Malik, stop playing with me. You're going to mess yourself up. Don't mention me no more. You're going to mess yourself up. You're going to mess yourself up. You're going to mess up this whole thing that's been going on for a long time. Just stop talking slick about me. Stop talking slick. Do you know where the funding come from? This is where Malik get his money from. Malik haven't won a case in forever. This is where he get the money. A successful businesswoman. This is where he gets the money. They have children from kindergarten to 12. It's a private school. Do I need to go and get more receipts? Malik, shut up. You get money from the government by the way of your mother talking crazy about the government. Shut up. You ain't winning no cases. You need to just shut up. Because every time I hear you talk slick, I'm going to bring some more because I got more and more and more. I got more and more and more. Last but not least, he talked about this case. They asked him about this case, right? They asked him about this case where has he ever beat any court cases? And he goes on this tangent about the last case that he beat. I want to talk about that real quick. And I got a few more other things I want to talk about. He goes on this tangent that he beat this case and got a guy $100,000. Now, if you can remember, I showed y'all, 
I showed y'all how Malik was using the internet. I showed y'all how Malik was using the internet to make it seem as if he has legitimate things going on. Follow what I'm saying? That he has legitimate things going on. And with that being said, let me share this with you real quick. One of the things that he claimed was the case Meredith versus Prince George's County. And he claimed it could be true. But he claimed that he got the guy a hundred thousand dollars. But when you look up the case, it says presently pending, ready for resolution in this civil rights case. I could be wrong, and I got to put this on the record. But the only thing that I can find that this case, and I, and I look deep, and I ain't finished looking, because I'll, I'll say if I'm wrong, the only thing that we could find concerning this case is the judge saying, Presently pending and re ready resolution in this civil rights case is a motion for summary judgment filed. Defendants Prince George's County and Officer Tommy Thomas. The issue has been fully briefed and the court now rules no hearing deemed necessary. I may be reading this wrong. I don't know. I don't know. But on that interview last night, he said, oh, I, I, he said, you ever been to court? He said, yeah, I've been to court. I, I, I was just, I just beat a case for $100,000. Now, the only, the only case that I found, you hear me? The only case that I found for the $100,000 is the case that he put on Newswire. News provided by Malik Zulu Shabazz, April 20, 2022. And I told you that he puts these stories out there. And in this story, he's talking about Umar Ali, the 20 year, 21 year old Prince George's County business owner, was falsely arrested. And in this story, you find Mr. Ali, who was injured had to seek medical treatment, has retained attorney Malik Zulu Shabazz to litigate his case to pursue justice. Attorney Shabazz recently prevailed against PG County Police Department in a murder versus PG County case number, et cetera, et cetera. This is the key local civil rights case in which attorney Shabazz obtained a ruling from a judge. Notice he says a judge in Prince George's County. You want me to go on? A judge from Prince George's County. Listen closely now. He don't name the judge. Remember, Malik is writing this story from news wires. News provided by Malik Zulu Shabazz. Do I need to blow it up anymore? Let me make sure you see it. He's false flagging again. This is a key local civil rights case in which Attorney Shabazz obtained ruling from a judge in Prince George's County declaring PG County police cannot violate the Fourth Amendment by using excessive force on the routine detainments of suspected wrongdoers. In the Murdoff case, PG County police were forced to do justice on the behalf of Mr. Murdoff and was illegally, who was illegally illegally detained, humiliated, and abused by PG County police. Officer Tommy Tom M. Thomas. Prince George's County had to pay Mr. Murdoch a hundred thousand dollars. This is the only place where you can find this. You follow me? This is the only place that I can find it so far. Let me see if I can. Trying to get it a little bit bigger for you. 
Hold up. This 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 is kind of small. Hold up, hold up. See if I can get a stretch for you. See if I can stretch. Uh, I can't even stretch it. It won't stretch no more. Let me try again. All right, there it is. There it is. Now, my point is, is that this is the same thing that he did with Sisters of the Underground. He put it on this newswire thing. And every case that he want to bring attention to to get it flowing on the internet, he used this fake newswire where he writes the story. There it is. Let me blow it up for you. And again, hold up. You see that? Provided by Malik Zulu Shabazz. I'm telling you, this guy is them folk. Meet the agent. Meet him. Why would he have to lie about stuff that's unnecessary? I mean, why? You know why? You know why? You know why he got to lie? The reason why he got to lie is because he got to go on. His intention is to go on and continue to muddy the waters. And if somebody finds out, he put everybody close to him in jeopardy. And that's where you made your mistake talking crazy about me. Because if you think you're going to have people around me in jeopardy, If you think you're going to throw out idle threats, no, I'm a researcher. If you if, if, if you just think that you're going to idly throw out threats and talk crazy. Okay, his whole existence uh, uh, was, was, was reforming addicts and prisons. And, and that's true. He, and he was known all over California, all the way up to the Nixon administration. Now, notice that his father, his stepfather, was known all the way up to the presidency. All the way up to the presidency. Administration. And so when I'm coming all the way up to the Nixon administration, all the way up to the Nixon administration. And so when I'm coming up as a baby, I'm sitting in the so-called ghettos of, of South Central Los Angeles and I'm in these meetings and on the wall is Malcolm, on the wall is Mar Fam, I'm going to leave it right there to tomorrow. And we might have to do a part two. Let me just share a few more files with you. This is how you go in. This. General Taliba Tunde. No, don't bring him on here, brother, because I'm not finna cuss him out on this airway. Don't. General Talib won all the smoke today. General Taliba Tunde. No, don't bring him on here, brother, because I'm not finna cuss him out on this airway. Don't bring him over here. And he's asked four questions on the text. I don't want to see him right now. I I'm don't want to see him. I just want to ask you. See, Talib be on the ground. See, Talib been around with Grandmaster Jay. He been around Malik. He has his own squad that put in work. And he got a bad rap. From this madness, watch to leave. To your question. What? You think you're open to the public, right? No, not for you. Why not? I got nothing to say to you right now. I just now can we get back to my conversation? No. I just want to ask you a question. 
No, I ain't taking no questions from you. Now get off this phone. You can't answer no questions? Not for, you can text it to Desert Eagle. So I done heard three of your, your questions in the text already, brother. I'm My done. Press seven if y'all want if y'all want to hear what uh Talib gotta say. Press seven if y'all want to hear what Talib gotta say. And we see if we can get up in here tomorrow or Thursday. What's tomorrow? I'm, I'm, question I'm is, not being I'm not in being Washington, DC in Washington DC Karan Hilton what I'm not being questioned by you you come out the US military and you ain't questioning me now get him off Karan this line Hilton what happened with Karan now he attacking anybody who was in the military Hilton get meant to get him off this line what happened with Karan Hilton in Washington DC okay eagle is you going to control your format or not I'm asking the question the family I'm not I'm told you to be a lawyer. I'm but not then, ans I'm not answering I'm not answering the family. I'm not answering your question. You ain't well, worried well, about well, this. We're gonna, this we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I ain't this answering your question. This we this we're gonna do. This we're gonna do. Because what we don't want to do for those for the General Talib understand the inner workings and the mentality of a Malik Zulu Shabazz. And Malik would never, I don't believe he will ever have that conversation with Talib. As Cryptonomics say, it was a no holds barred stream and he's not answering questions. Because see, Talib has been around. Talib got on me about Grandmaster J. Talib at one time even supported Malik. So people just really want the truth. At the at this point, people just want the truth. You know what I mean? Um, what else I got here? Oh, this is one I like to put out too. Look at this. You know, let's let's talk about oaths. Notice how, notice how he's always going to lean on Dr. Khalid Muhammad to cover his foot tracks, to cover his cover his tracks. Watch this. The Honorable Khalid Abdul Muhammad said that Malik Zulu Shabazz is not an oath taker; he's an oath faker. Notice how we say Dr. Khaled Muhammad said because Dr. Khaled Muhammad cannot defend himself because Dr. Khaled Muhammad is gone the way of the ancestors. And so he don't have to say he's not an oath taker, he's an oath faker. He'll put it on Khaled Muhammad. This is the ultimate betrayal. He also said Malik Zulu Shabazz Muhammad said that Malik Zulu Shabazz Y'all see how he covers his footprints? An oath this is how he cover his tracks. So when the European asked them that you faking your oath, no, I didn't say that. I said, Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad said. Taker, he's, the Honorable Khaled Abdul Muhammad said that Malik Zulu Shabazz is not an oath taker. He's an oath faker. He also said that as black people, you cannot lie to the devil. Okay, so what he's saying is, is that Khalid Muhammad, okay, this just resonate on that. Khalid Muhammad specifically backed me into becoming an attorney so I could be his attorney. You were already in school to be an attorney. And you said that you wasn't that type of attorney. And later I could go into court and with attorneys Roger Wareham and and you hear how lie you, you hear how much he lied. He said Dr. Khaled Muhammad backed him to be an attorney. He was already in 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 in, in, in Howard University when he met Dr. Khaled Muhammad. Then he said I could go into court and back him. When in fact, hold on. When in fact, give me one second. 
Listen, listen what he said. To pretty much say you are a trial attorney. The That's next correct. Part of, the next part of the question is, what is the last case you won? In last the case? case I won was Meredith v. Prince George's County. Okay, Meredith v. Prince. I just went on that earlier this year. Meredith v. I changed the law in my jurisdiction. That's what I just. That's what I just read to you about Meredith versus Prince George's County. Lionel Meredith v. Prince George's County. Wise guys. Okay, and this this law actually changed the law in my area in terms of what the Prince George's County Police can do or cannot do. Lion again. Man, he's the Lion King, man. I'm going to make a meme and call him the Lion King with this outfit on. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up till tomorrow. We got my brothers coming on tomorrow, Black Power Community coming on tomorrow. And then on Thursday, we're going back on Malik. We're going to see what he say about this. We're going to see what he say about this. And I'm not finished yet. Family, I'm not finished. So tomorrow I got to bring my brothers on. Because I want to show y'all what the, what, the, what the black power community look like. Because he's not the leader of the black. He's the Lion King. He's the Lion King. And I'm not finished yet. He better not mention my name between now and tomorrow. He better not. Because I postpone my Black Power show with my brothers and I will go in tomorrow. But he better not mention my name before I go live again. He better not. If anybody hear him say my name, y'all email me. Because I'm going to put the nail in the coffin before summer's over. That's right. I want to ask all y'all one question. Forget the term agent. Because in reality, let me see, somebody said they sent me a cash app. I want to thank whoever sent me a cash app. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, cake, 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 cake. <laughs> thank you, cake, 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 cake. <laughs> I appreciate you. God said, I am. I want to ask y'all a question. I want to ask y'all a question. Do you really believe? Do you really believe that they're going to put somebody amongst us who is an agent and it'd be so easy to detect like you can find a piece of paper and say, there it is. He signed to be an agent. There it is. They met and dropped the bag at the phone booth, like in the movies. Do you really believe that? That's not how it works. We must connect the dots and use our greater intelligence to see who's infiltrating us. If it looked like a duck, it quacked like a duck and it got a bill, it's a duck. We must do that. We're not going to find a piece of paper that says this person is an agent. We're not going to find a piece of paper or a video where they're exchanging a bag with a mask on at the telephone booth. We must be intelligent enough to connect the dots. We must be intelligent enough to connect the dots. And what we've seen here so far This guy is an informant beyond belief. He can scream the devil this, the white man this, the, he can quote Dr. College, slick his line about the cave woman and all of that. But he has enough history, he has enough history for us to examine to see who he is. And anybody that's in denial they're going to drown in denial. I mean, anybody, anybody who's in denial, they're going to drown in denial. So until tomorrow, y'all be safe. Salute.
Special shout out to Talib. Special shout out to General Ghazi. And a super special shout out to Desert Eagle. I think he did a phenomenal, unbiased job. He, he, he should have his own podcast for real. Because I think he did a wonderful job. And not, I mean, Malik answered the questions. Malik did the horrible job. You know what I'm saying? But you got to give it up for Desert Eagle. Desert Eagle asked raw questions and Malik just answered. Unfortunately, he only answered really two questions out of the whole four hour interview. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad for a man with a 30, 20, even 15 year track record. It's pretty bad. And when you talk slick to me, man, you're going to get this heat social media style. Thank you, family. I see y'all tomorrow night, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We be back in the building. We be back in with Rebels Roundtable in the building. Yeah, yeah. Hold up. I almost forgot something. I almost forgot something. Let me show you how far these agents have went. Let me show you how far these agents have went. Hold up. These agents has went so far that they even tuned, they even linked up. And now they on Roland Martin. All of this is a network. You hear what I say? All of this is a network of provocateurs. These are no these people, these people are controlling the narrative to keep you distracted. It's a promotion of a movie. These are the, the, the most vile people in our community. They don't want liberation. They're comfortable. They don't want liberation. They got money from the establishments. They're not going to put their money towards liberation. They got money. And they're and, and, and they, and they, and they happy with it. You feel me? They are happy with it. So now their job is to keep you blind. That's what it is. Keep you chasing your tail. And when you, when you if people don't believe in the Bible, by all means, believe what you want to believe. But when it talks about the Hebrew circling the desert for 40 years, we're circling the desert of our mind. And we're being led by these people that look like us but they're not us. They were being led by people that look like us and not us. And anyone, and anyone that comes to try to break it up, the first thing that they're going to say is, he's an agent. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a government operation. When in fact, they are the government operation. Watch this real quick. Um, Listen to this. Watch this. I had to get this off real quick. I just thought about that. I couldn't let that slide. Okay, so we're going to move past that one. So everybody can think about that. Boom, there it is. It's just a question. Now, the, yes, next, question, the next question following kind of that, they say at the Tulsa um, Church, 
that your your security in the church was white supremacist that you chose white people and white supremacists to do your security there at the church and everybody was wondering why did you do that in the black in the new black panthers that was there and they couldn't come listen to this listen close or something like that and you had you had white supremacist um bodyguards what all of this that? right well this and this what shows that uh more squirrel tv is essentially a counterintelligence operation no, 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 uh, brother. No, no, no. That had nothing to do. That didn't even come. That didn't come from the Moors. That came from. That came from New Black Panther Party members. <laughs> Shout out to General Ghazi. <laughs> no, 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 no. That didn't come from the Moors. That come from the New Black. <laughs> Listen to this. Um, security there at the church, and everybody was wondering, why did you do that? In the black, in the New Black Panthers that was there, and they couldn't come in, or, or something like that. And you had you had white supremacists um bodyguards what all of this it? right well this and this what shows that uh more squirrel tv is essentially a counterintelligence operation no no no, no uh, brother no, no no that had nothing to do with operation no no no, no uh, brother. that uh more squirrel tv is essentially a counterintelligence operation no no no, no uh, brother no, no 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 that had nothing to do that didn't even come that didn't come from the moors that came from that came from the new black panther party members <laughs> General Zagazi sounds like an attorney. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> that's how you keep that heat on him, General Ghazi. That's correct. And see, that's what I was trying to explain to you earlier, Malik. All of this stuff ain't coming from the, I'm telling you, this it's coming from them listening. Matter. It's coming from them watching shit. That's the no, only no, way no, it no, come no, from no, them no, watching. No, Malik. No. Who cares where it comes from? Let me address it. Who <laughs> Man, he's so incompetent. Who cares where it comes from? Okay, it's not coming from Moore's World TV. He's counterintelligence. Okay, but who cares where it come from? Listen. Guess the only way it come from them. No, no, Malik. No. Who cares where it come from? Let me. <laughs> meet, meet, <laughs> meet your agent, Malik Zulu Shabazz. <laughs> I be that more you gon' remember. I'ma be that more you gon' remember. I be that more you gon' remember. To Harker Bay front line till the law call my number. I be that more you gon' remember. I'ma be that more you gon' remember. That's right. I be that more you gon' remember. To Harker Bay front line till the law call my number. If you a friend of the Moors, then you a friend of mine. I was told to watch my enemies, now hold my line. Don't just speak against the prophet, they speak. Me. And I'm speaking about the prophet over Drew Ali. Who was the first to remind you and bind you back to Morocco, the mountains, Mississippi, and Quebec? Told you you wasn't black. Prove it with straight facts. You tripping off Trump, you need to be tripping off that. Now here we go again, acting like you a slave. <laughs> Family, see y'all tonight, 9 30. Let's go. I be that more you gon' remember. I'ma be that more you gon' remember. I'll be that more you gon' remember. To Harker Bay front line till the law call my number. Hey!